Miss Pittman, what are you doing? I'm going to show you, doctor. It's absolutely driving me crazy. But, Miss Pittman! Eh, what's up, doc? All she wants to do is have sex. That's not all I want to do, sugar. I can sing, too. You do? Me, 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 me. She really has something. Oh, let me put that on pause and take these off and take these off. Hey, him. What the fuck did I just watch? Oh, excuse the F word. <laughs> Um, hey, <laughs> I can't even, it's just so out there, um, where's the frickin' remake of this, where's, oh, my hair is probably all, because of the headphones messed up, oh, I gotta get vain, I'm all prim and proper, <laughs> no. hey, everybody, welcome to Fucked Up Friday Night Flicks. Yeah, um, <laughs> wipe the tears away, because th this, this movie is just so freaking like, <laughs> or if you're demented like me, you're laughing your ass off through it, going, oh my god, the script is loaded with bad puns, and, and, jokes that are that you cannot do today. You cannot do this. <laughs> and put this in a movie theater? Are you crazy? Oh, that's why I'm saying it, it would it would be kind of <laughs> kind of funny to see somebody remake this thing. Oh, man. Hey, we're talking about 1977's cult classic, maybe not even a classic, just film, I'll just say film, called Chatterbox, soft porn, <laughs> film, called Chatterbox, um, how do I say it, I just guess, I guess I just gotta say it, it's the movie about the girl who finds out her vagina can talk and sing and becomes a singing sensation yeah that, that's the movie <sighs> fucked up Friday night flicks here over on channel Downstar. hi everybody I'm your host Roger D um wow um I This is a movie that is part of like a four-pack movie of bizarre stuff like women in prison movies and things. I collect a lot of B-movies and, and the great thing about a lot of B-movies is there's like two or three or four or sometimes on DVD you see there's like eight movies you know, all squeezed on to two discs. And there are all these really bad movies that that never, um, that don't deserve Blu-rays or anything, or possibly their own single movie uh, release. And this was, um, okay, uh, this, this stars, who does it star? Candace, um, what's her name? Candace Ry Railston? Railston? Someone I don't know. This was done in 77. Star Wars was right in the next theater. Everybody was going to see Star Wars, or you can go see Chatterbox. <laughs> About the singing vagina. It was originally called Virginia the Talking Vagina, which, which she's known by Virginia. And there are all these crazy puns and uh, shut your lips and, and <laughs> you know really really kind of politically incorrect which I love I love like trauma I love when they get politically incorrect but um, things like that um, 
And she's a hairdresser at a salon, and she finds out her vagina can speak. Later on, she finds out it can sing when she goes to a psychiatrist because all her friends think she's nuts when she's saying, hey, my vagina can speak. She has a breakup with her boyfriend at the beginning because he thinks the vagina is really her talking about how bad the sex was and um, he doesn't believe that it's her vagina talking, of course. Who would believe that? <laughs> and so, uh, which doesn't make much sense because not to give any spoilers, when you see the ending, you're like, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what was he worried about? Anyway, uh, like I said, I don't want to give any spoilers. This movie also stars, at the height of his career, or probably at the end of his career, Rip Taylor. The weird... How dare you do something like that in a place like this where decent people come to have their hair done? Oh, God, I, don't have, I can't explain this. It's just embarrassing. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I'm ruined. I will never understand women. Never. A uh, effeminate guy that would come out with the blonde wig and the mustache and throw confetti all over. He'd be on the gong show. He had the $1.98 beauty uh, contest show. And he was always on Carson. Uh, he's in this. Uh, there's a lot of boom mics in this. <laughs> there's a lot of boom mics that are, you know, popping in from the bottom, coming way down, almost hitting the actors on their head or coming up from the bottom, you know, here and there. Um, like I said, this is soft core porn or soft porn core. What? Soft porn core. Soft core porn um, where you see the top half. You never see the bottom half except for profile. <laughs> you know, a few shots. And, uh, you know, when the microphone's right in front of that area, or a megaphone to make it louder, when it's singing the national anthem at a ba uh, baseball game, it does. Virginia sings the national anthem through a big megaphone into a, into a microphone at a baseball game. Sure. And uh, the psychiatrist uh, has the idea because the voice is so beautiful, he contacts someone he knows in the business, and they get her on stage, and they, and she sings this this wonderful song called Wang Dang Duty <laughs> or Doodle, and and Wang Dang Doodle, and it becomes this hit, and. Um, but, but she's embarrassed by the whole thing. And there's there's paparazzi coming around and they just take pictures of her crotch. And she's just like, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. It is a fucked up Friday night flicks, let me tell you people. Um, or effed up, I should say effed up. Um, 
gosh, it's loaded, like I said, with puns and all these goofy uh, uh, lines of dialogue. It is... I'm coming down. I'm coming down because I've been like throughout the movie and laughing at it and I... I it's only an hour and ten minutes. So, um... Yeah, it's... Um, I, I guess I got nothing else to say about it. I... Um, I seen part of it on VHS back in the day. I had heard about it. And I was always like, oh, wasn't there a movie about a talking vagina? I gotta check that out sometime. And I think I rented it, and it might have been like one of those days where you can rent three movies for five bucks. VHS. And I went through two movies, and I was tired, and I was falling asleep. So I think I saw parts of this. Although, watching it tonight, I didn't remember one damn thing. I totally forgot Rip Taylor's in there, and how actual funny it is. But it is out there. You can get it on DVD, so... Go to Amazon and do the old Chatterbox type, and you'll find it in a compilation of a bunch of other B-movies, no doubt. I doubt it gets its own, it has its own single release, uh, but wow, they couldn't remake it. They couldn't. I, I could see them doing some weird remake, but they couldn't do it. And, uh, and I'll just say this, the ending is very happy, and they live happily ever after, apparently. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, all Roger D on Channel Downstar uh, with effed up Friday night flicks, watching Chatterbox, 1977. <sighs> see it. That's that's it. See it if you dare. <laughs> Bye.